One of the best places to get started building agent applications is using the templates available in Langflow. So there is the simple agent option available, and then you can also search within templates for agent based templates, or you can go to the section for agents and you'll see that there are a bunch of options available here. So to get started, I'm going to go to the first tab and select the simple agent option available here. And we'll notice that this template is using a single agent and it has a few different tools. So first one available here is to fetch content from URLs. And the second one is calculator. And in addition to that, we have the chat input and output to communicate with the agent. And if we were to go into the agent instructions, you'll notice that there is not a lot more info than what we had before. The additional instructions we see is the second line available here. And with that, we can run this tool. Now there's something new in this particular setup, which is the highlighted section on this component that says tool set. And the reason for that is that if we were to click on the component, we'll see an option to convert this component into a tool. And this is something available in the latest version of Langflow, where any component could be used as a tool. So for example, if I were to make a call to an API, I could go to the data tab and bring in the API request component. And we will see that there is an option to convert this into a tool. And now we can use this component together with the agent component. So it makes it easy that we have a lot more flexibility with this new version where we can convert these component and use them as tools for our agent application. Now the setup is pretty simple in this case. If there is a URL, that we need to get content from, then the agent is going to use that particular tool. And the description, as we have seen previously, is available within the component where we provide a brief description so that agent knows what is this tool for. And the other tool is the calculator tool, as we have seen previously. So to test this setup, I'm going to ask question that what are the top products on today? And using the available tools, we have a response. And we notice that these are the top products from today. And if we were to go into the details, we'll notice that the URL fetch content tool was used with the input from our LLM app asking to visit this particular site. And then we get a response back. And based on that response, we get an output from the tool. And based on this output, we get a response generated from the LM that we see in the playground. Now, the cool thing about this setup is that we can add multiple tools to one agent component or the other option is that we can have multiple agents working together in sequence or in parallel and performing a task using a tool or two and then aggregating the response and providing that back to the user. So it depends on how many tools do you want to use as well as what type of task you want from the agents. Different agent configurations might help in that case.